In this video, I'll go over how to get started using wildcards in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael, and I make quick tips and tutorials on how to use Calc software. Here I have two columns of just some sample text. I'll go over how to target the text using the wildcards. So to demonstrate, I'll use Find and Replace under the Edit menu. Under Find, I'll try using a wildcard. For the first wildcard, I'll use the question mark. Question mark is really just a placeholder to represent one single character. So for any text that has B and one character after it and the letter G, then we should expect a match. Before I click on find all, just make sure that the wildcards checkbox is selected. So I'll click find all now. Here the search results show up in a box. So we can see in all these examples, there's a letter B, another character after that, and the letter G. Now also I'll draw your attention to the sheet itself that highlighted the cells. And we see that in cell B11, it was not a match. And the reason is the question mark only stands for one character. Here I have two characters, so it didn't return as a match. If I did want to target this word, by the way, I just made up, we can use two question marks. So now the wizard is expecting two characters between the letters B and G. So now we see this shows up. Actually, if we wanted to search for more than one character as a wildcard, we can use the asterisk. Here, let me change this from two question marks to an asterisk. Now we see that my fictional word shows up, but also all the other ones show up as well. And this is because the asterisk can stand for either one character, multiple characters, or even nothing. So if I had a cell with BG in it, it would show up as a match. So it's up to you if you like using the two question marks to target this, or if you want to use the asterisk. Now I also have a column for the asterisk here. So I'll go over another example using this column's values. So we see I used asterisk and cast after it, and all four of these return as matches. Interesting is that for this forecasters, it's shown as a match because forecast is in there. Even though we have extra few letters after forecast, it shows up as a match. Now this one is interesting for castaway. That's because before the four letter word cast, there's actually no letters. And that's okay. The asterisk can stand for an empty string or no value as well. But besides the find and replace wizard, we can use wildcards in certain functions. Here I use an example function, count if, and we see that I'm targeting a range of cells from B6 to B12, which is basically this column. And then I'm using the wildcard here. This is exactly what I used earlier in the find and replace wizard. We see that calc in cell F6 put in the value of 5 for us. Now you might be thinking, why is it 5? Because here, really all of them should match except for the 1, which means we ought to have 6. And the reason for that is, if we go back to the find and replace. Earlier when I searched, this entire cell's checkbox was not selected. When I clicked find all, it actually gave me six results. See what happens if I check entire cells. When I click find all, we only have five results and the word beginner does not qualify. Are you noticing the difference? When we tell it to search the entire cell, Alka is expecting that the cell content itself would just be three letters long, except that the second letter is a wildcard. But when I don't have entire cells checked, Calc is basically just looking for the cell, but not the full contents. So even if part of the contents in the cell match, and we get the results. In the case of beginner, because BEG was a match, it didn't really care that the entire cell includes extra characters afterwards. I hope that helps to distinguish between entire cells or not. I demonstrated a function of count if, but actually these are the ones where also will work with wildcards. I won't get into them today in this video, but I'll include a link to the LibreOffice help website where you can look into detail about each of these functions. 
If you have any questions or if there's something else you'd like to learn, feel free to mention them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and as always, stay nifty.